Amber Heard's attorney was right here the day after the verdict, and she said the jury had not been permitted to see certain evidence that would have bolstered and verified Amber Heard's claims of abuse. I know a lot of things, but I don't know about that. Blind. Particular therapist notes. What is your response to that? And was there evidence that was suppressed for a valid legal reason that might have made a difference? I, I think that was very disappointing to hear that and to hear her impugn the character of the jury and... Uh, but the evidence came in that should come in, came, come in and the, the judge was very fair to both sides. It seemed to be so messy and salacious and so yes, tough yes, yes. on both sides. On both sides. And I think for the, a lot of people from the outside looking in thought both of them were not telling the truth and that they had both, that it, they mutually abused each other. Do you not believe that that was the case? No, and, and that's one of the many misnomers. The way that Depp's team approached this was based on ignorance of domestic violence. It, they, it completely ignored the cycle of violence and just said, oh, she I wouldn't have done this bitch. if he had been hitting her. That was their approach. So you thought that they weren't fighting fair? Correct. I, I don't think they were fighting fair. I want to go home. Are you dumb? Get some help. What was the key to victory? I've been waiting for this one. I think the key to victory was focusing on the facts and the evidence um, and Johnny's opportunity to speak the truth for the first time. It was six years in the making and I think he was able to connect with the jury and the general public and tell what really happened in this relationship. Is there any other way to interpret this verdict though that this jury for whatever reason, and I hear you on some of the evidence that they didn't hear. Listening to Amber Heard did not believe a single word. You know, and that's because she was demonized here. A number of things were allowed in this court that should not have been allowed. And it caused the jury to be confused. Whatever you say. How do you think the jury didn't believe her? Because when you look at the verdict, it really comes down to that. The issue was, is what she's saying true no. or false? And by their verdict, they said, it's false. Well, my sense is that it had a lot to do with accountability, that Johnny owned his issues. He was very candid about his alcohol and drug issues. He was candid about some unfortunate texts that he wrote. And I think it was a sharp contrast to Ms. Heard, who didn't seem, or at least the jury may have perceived that she didn't take accountability for anything. And that's the truth. Let me ask you about social media. Yes, yes, case. yes. The, unlike any celebrity case, certainly I've ever covered or ever seen, social media was a part of this. And it was incredibly lopsided and vitriolic against Amber Heard. Do you think that had an effect on the case? Absolutely. You think jurors were aware of it? You they know, weren't supposed to be. They're they admonished so every single day. <laughs> Don't look at it. Do you think they did see it? How can you not? They went home every night. They have families. The families are on social media. We had a 10-day break in the middle because of the judicial conference. There's no way they couldn't have been influenced by it. And it was it really, really was lopsided. I appreciate your saying that. It's As you know, this trial was very closely watched. Social media certainly took off in a way that uh, yes, you've seen high profile trials before, but this is the social media age. Do you believe the jurors saw any of that, were swayed by any of that? No, I don't think there's any reason to believe that the jurors violated their oath. And, that, and again, that suggestion was, was disappointing to hear. Yeah, I mean, Amber Heard's lawyer said so. She said it would have been unavoidable because it's on TikTok, it's on social media. I mean, in the, in the old days, you'd, you'd tell the jury before they went out, don't read newspapers, don't watch the evening news. Now it's everywhere. It is everywhere, but at the same time, they were admonished every single night. And uh, they had a tremendous amount of respect, I think, for the court and the process, and they were doing the best that they could. Ah, oh, shit. Do you feel like you guys made any mistakes along the way? Do you feel like Amber made a mistake while she was on the stand? Because you're saying it's the celebrity, it's Johnny, it's the, it's the people who support him. But what about you and your team? Excuse me? Well, and, and that's an excellent question. And to say, and, and you know, Amber even said on the stand, I am not perfect. You don't say. I am a human being. These people were giving her death threats. They threatened to microwave her baby. 
This and is the I, kind oh. of social media she was getting. Wait, during your cross-examination, what was your impression of Ms. Hurd's uh, impression on the jury? I think that her impression on the jury was what it was. I think something that I focused on and we focused on in that cross-examination was using her words against her. Colon 47 to 22, colon 37. I'm going to move the admission, Your Honor. Any objection? No objection. 357. What the fuck is going on in here? And you're stronger. It's only I say that I thought you could kill me. That doesn't mean you count her. You also, uh, that, that, that you lost your own finger. I, I am not trying to attack you here. I'm just trying to point out the fact of why I said call 911. Because I was, you are, you had your hands on me after the phone. And it was very important for us to, every question that was asked was tied to something she had said previously. And um, I think the jury got to see and the world got to see and hear from Ms. Heard in that relationship on every single topic. And George, I think there was a real contrast. Uh, Johnny took ownership of a lot of things. And it's, it seemed at times, and perhaps it came through the to the jury that she was, she had an answer for everything and she wasn't taking accountability for anything. And I think that made a difference. So much. Are you stunned that the jury essentially rejected her story? Well, you know, really what happened here is it's a tale of two trials. Johnny Depp brought a suit in the UK for the same case. And the burden of proof was easier for him there. The son had to actually prove. And, and the court found there, and we weren't allowed to tell the jury this, but the court found that Mr. Depp had committed at least 12 acts of domestic violence, including sexual violence, against Amber. So what did Depp's team learn from this? and suppress the evidence. We had an enormous amount of evidence that was suppressed no, in this think... case that was in the UK case. In the UK case, when it came in, Amber won, Mr. Depp lost. He lost that case. The judge finding that claims by the newspaper that he was a wife beater were substantially true. Now, Amber Heard's lawyers say that judgment should have come into this court case. What say you? was a different process. Right. Um, and also, Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard in this case were the parties. They had different disclosure obligations. So um, we disagree. The overwhelming evidence that was presented in this case in Virginia far exceeded what was presented in the UK. And we believe the jury got it right. Me too. But the other problem is we had cameras in the courtroom. What? So here we had, not only did we have a group of Depp fans yep, that were there me. every day, a hundred were allowed in, they lined up at one o'clock in the morning for their wristbands to be in that courtroom, but we had everything on camera and we had tremendous social media that was very, very, very much against Amber. Very it was demonized. pointed out that that was the first time that a victim of sexual abuse had to testify on live television. Mm. And I fought hard and lost that battle. It should not have happened. So, I am... And, and you know for a fact that neither he nor his agents nor anyone tried to you in some way know. pay for or otherwise encourage this kind of social media activity. False. Categorically false. Categorically false. Yeah. He also went on TikTok yesterday thanking his supporters on social media. What role does social media play in this verdict? My view is that social media played no role, role whatsoever. This was a decision made by the jury on the evidence presented by both sides. And as Camille said, it was overwhelmingly in Mr. Depp's favor. Were you stunned at this victory? Well, we had oh, ultimate baby, confidence not. in Johnny and the jury and the facts of this case. And you can only hope that the jury will see it. And in this case, they did. And the verdict was overwhelmingly in his favor. Yeah! <laughs>